See that? It's amazing. Bought this on Amazon. It's a bug light that runs on USB. Rather than, it was, it was dead. So I just plugged in the USB and just hung it over the TV. Uh, mosquitoes got in here last night. Not many, but enough to be annoying. And literally, as soon as we turn this on, no more mosquito problem. Do I see, ooh, look, bugs, it actually works. This thing actually really works. I figured it was a joke, honestly. I mean, a bug light that runs on five volts DC current that could shock a bug. works they're dead buggies in there must have check it out go to the johnnyoshow.com slash promotions and buy a bug light from me through my amazon store to help me pay for my broken hitch it's now the next day reassessing all the damage talk to the insurance company uh, they said just take some pictures and all that and then i can just do any repairs i need to do I don't think it's as bad as it looks. Obviously, I scraped up a lot of pavement right here. <laughs> it's stuck in there good. I'll have to clean it out and reposition these. I don't think I damaged these. I think they're fine. So that's good. The jack is not actually bent. It tore up the shoe, but that's only like 20 bucks to replace. So I have to take it off to inspect it later, but I think it's, it may have a little bin, but I don't think it does. I think it's just, I think it's okay. I think the, the angle we see is just, so what's damaged is underneath this, because this is straight up. You can see the jack is bent forward. So there may need to be some work done on this part that's damaged. And that may or may not be a big deal. And I think I know why this did not work. Be aware of this. I think this is what happened. This was mounted up somewhere here. I don't know where. And here's what I think happened. When this bent back, it obviously pulled this off. It pulled it off this direction. This is how it was hanging down. So what I think happened was when this hit the ground, it caused this to be jerked back, and as it was jerking it back, the cable was being pulled, and it was pulled out at this angle. The best way I can show you is like this. That, that pin is meant to come out straight, like this. So when you pull the pin, it just comes out. But if this, as it pushed back, knocked this down, now, this was getting pulled at a 90 degree, not straight out. It couldn't, it couldn't do it. It just snapped off. That is why this failed. So the reason this failed wasn't because there was a problem with it. In my opinion, the reason it failed was where this was mounted to the trailer in relation to this stuff for the weight distribution hitch caused interference. This moved back, it knocked this, Put it at the wrong angle so this could not be pulled out. That is what I think happened. So when you install these things, you need to make sure that when they hit the ground, because they can hit the ground, they're not going to screw with that. I don't know. Maybe take this and reposition it in front of this so that when this hits, it's not going to be interfering with this at all. You need to make sure nothing can jerk these wires loose because if this wire was to get cut, then the brake won't work either, even if it got pulled. So you just need to make sure all this is clear of this kind of stuff because when this hits the ground and gets back, it's gonna mess up all this crap and then you're not gonna have emergency brakes.
tell everybody where we're at, Robin. We're at the visitor center. At the top of Grand, well, not the top of Grand Mesa. Close. But the, yeah, about five miles from Land's Inn. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So here's everywhere we've been on this trip. We've been, there's Delta. So we went here, all the way over here. That's where we went yesterday. We're parked somewhere right around here. That's where we're camping. Oh, okay. And then we came up and then we went down this way. That was the other way. Hmm. Where's Delta? Right over there. Cool. And then that's the road we went down the other day. Mom's gonna make breakfast, we provided the food, she's gonna do the cooking. I'm not sure how we're gonna do this. We're gonna try toasting this on on that somehow. Never done that before. I've got that on low right now. I haven't started that one up. So we'll just see what she needs and get it going. Well, I got busy working and Mama already started the bacon. Do you want me to turn it up higher? Is that good? Uh, you can turn it a little higher, it wouldn't go much higher because it will shrink it up too fast. Probably medium. So we're doing it on medium. Medium and medium low and low was just a little too low. We'll try medium. See how that does. So we're testing an egg. One egg. Seems to be pretty level. We don't want to lose all our bacon or we won't have anything to... This is toast from the grill. Do you want me to turn this grill on for the toast? Well, you could. I can do that. If it gets too hot, the yolk will break. Do you want to turn the heat down? No. Okay. I think so. Don't burn yourself. I'm gonna turn up just a little. Here. All right, thank you. I'll put it on medium. See how medium does for toasting. We can close this too for a little bit. Let's try that. So it seems like keeping it on high with the lid closed makes a good toast. All right, so I should have known better than to trust Leech Camper Sales to install this weight distribution hitch when I bought the camper. So here's what happened. Now that I moved this out of the way, here's where this thing was mounted. It was mounted up here somehow to this. And now I recall it used to feed the brake thing right through here. So of course, as soon as this hit and bend back, it ripped this completely off, causing it not to work because it was destroyed before it could ever work. This is the only place this can go, which it pretty much is. Then they should have moved this. This should be in front, shouldn't be behind at all. There should be no way that this can interfere, that this, when it hits the ground, should be interfering with this. It should be mounted here. That's what should have happened. So anyway, I got the other side straightened out. I got most of the asphalt scraped off for now. I've got this installed straight and you can see where it literally, when this hit, it literally just dug that right in. It's actually got lines in the metal. Look at that. Just dug that bolt right in. 
So anyway, I'm gonna fix this side now. So at least these parts are in place. Like I say, I think, oh no, I don't think there was a lot of damage here, really. I don't even think the jack is ruined. I think it's just the mount that the jack's going in. And like I said, what's odd is the jacket is straight. It's the jack that's crooked. So I'm not sure what is mounted to what there, but that's obviously gonna have to probably have some repairs done on it. So here we are, it's very, very windy. This is Land's End Road. We've taken you down Land's End Road a couple times on our videos. If I can keep from falling. It curves all around and goes all the way down. There's the observatory right there, and then Land's End Road is there. They've been doing it for several years. Is the Land's End Hill Climb Race. The next one is coming up here in August. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, be aware that it's coming up and they uh, race up here with, like I don't know if you'd call it a stock car or what you'd call it, but uh, they race up this hill. So that's a, event they've been doing for many years. Come on, Nala. It's extremely windy up here. So this used to be a little visitor center kind of thing with gift shop, but it's been closed for many, many years. There's a better angle of Land's End Road. And there's Roxy, or one of our many nicknames, Roxy Moron, Roxy mm -hmm. Cotton. What's the other ones? Roxy Top, I don't know. Roxy Top. I just call her a bunch of stuff. You're enjoying all the smells of the previous chipmunks that were here, aren't you? Sit. 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 
This is so exciting to you. I need you to just sit, Roxy. She ain't gonna obey you. Yes, she is. Let's try. Sit. Sit. Stay. No. Stay. Stay. Here. Here you go. No. Roxy, She's look. Not, as she goes and jumps after the bird, Robin. Robin. She's not gonna jump after a bird. She's a Roxy moron. I could have gotten a good picture and you're just being stupid. Mm. You're not even near the edge. Doesn't take much. She moves fast. I don't trust her. She's kind of dumb. You're kind of dumb. No, you're 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 kind of just. You want her to go chasing a bird off the edge. Sit. Sit. Roxy, look here, Roxy. Roxy, hey. Roxy. Roxy, look. Roxy. Look, Roxy. Look. Roxy. Hey, Roxy. Roxy. Here. Roxy. Here you go. Roxy. Roxy. You're ridiculous. No. Okay. She's really enjoying all these scents. What She's are you looking at? Oh, I can get a good one of her doing that. Go on. Get up there. Right here. Here now. Come on. Oh, hey. Get up here. Come on. Nala. Yeah, her. This is so exciting for you, isn't it? Old hop along here. Come on, buddy. Come on. Roxy, you have to walk a little slower. Buddy can't move that fast. So I have to take it off to inspect it later, but I think it's, it may have a little bin, but I don't think it does. I think it's just, I think it's okay. I think the, the angle we see is just, so what's damaged is underneath.